Hello everyone. This is Sister Margaret Mary and I would like to show you my latest crochet project. The first project is by the designer Tamara Kelly on New Blue Blog and I will post a link in the description box below. But this hat is an up and down slouchy beanie and if you look at it it has raised work and the bottom of the hat you can see that it has front and back post double crochet stitches and right above that we have uh, you can see that I have half double crochets but they almost look like knit stitches going sideways and this stitch is made by instead of going into the back loop of the stitch Tamara calls it the third loop we go behind the two loops behind that V stitch slightly lower and then we crochet using that loop and then it pushes that V forward and then the rows that the buttons are attached to those rows are um, quadruple triple crochets so the stitches are this tall and when you complete those two rows and when the entire hat is finished the very first stitch you loop over you twist to create a loop and you feed the other stitches through that loop it's like if you were using um, knitting needles or a knitting machine and you lose a stitch and you have to use a crochet hook to pick up all the drop stitches well it's the same thing so I used a crochet hook and I'll put it in front of the camera again and then maybe you can see the raised braid now I can't really see what I'm showing you so hopefully you can see the raised stitches so this is the ups and downs slouchy beanie by Tamara Kelly and the pattern is on Moogly Blog. I also made the cowl that goes along with it and I attached the same buttons it's really amazing how crochet techniques have evolved over the years it's not just simple single crochet double crochet half double crochet but the stitches the stitch combinations are so intricate now that you can create all kinds of lovely patterns so this is the cowl and you simply just put it over your head and I position the buttons as I said I can't see what I'm doing so hopefully you get an idea and it just drapes like this. I'm not the best model. I used uh, Red Heart uh, Fiesta yarn for this, or I think it's tweed, either Fiesta or tweed. So it's very nice. Since I had some yarn left over from the pattern, I decided to um, make some wrist cuffs. I improvised on Tamara's pattern. I have the same uh, ribbing. At the cuff and it's just all um, double crochet in the round so all you do with these wrist cuffs you just slide them on and if you had a coat or a sweater it would just match your um, your scarf and your hat or your cowl and your hat so I have two wrist cuffs and here it is I used Lion Brand homespun yarn for this project and the brooch was purchased from a website called Totally Dazzled. So that's one of Claire's projects. And then I have, I have a cupcake hat and this is also from Claire Sullivan, Bob Wilson 123. Let's get a look at that. This is a nice simple pattern for beginners and I added the little embellishment um, to make it look like a squirt of frosting 
and then I used the Clover Pom Pom Maker to create the cherry top. This next project is called Olivia's Butterfly Beanie. This is very easy. Um, you can see, hopefully you can see the little butterfly made by chain and a long single crochet. This pattern is great for beginners. And the design is made to be worn on the side of the head. So hopefully you can see this. I'm not really good about positioning this in front of the camera, but hopefully you have an idea. The next project is another scarf that I made based on Clara Sullivan's pattern. And you can see the buttons. The buttons really make the scarf quite elegant. And this is for you, Margaret. This is not crocheted, but I made this on the Addy Express knitting machine, and it is a snake scarf. A fun scarf for kids. It's actually very, very, very long. You can see how long it is. And I used Red Heart Super Saver. I think this is called Day Glow. It's, it's neon color, so this is fun for kids. So that's the snake scarf. Okay, this is this is another scarf by Bob Wilson one two three. This pattern is also from Bob Wilson one two three Claire Sullivan in the Green Bay Packer colors, and the scarf is quite long. Good for a man to shovel snow. This is the hat that goes with the scarf, and it is the pattern called Let the Games Begin, and it is featured on the Crochet Crowd website. And I have some just a simple ruffle scarf made with Starbella lace, quite fancy. I do have some other patterns in progress. This is a larger double crochet beanie to be used as a hat, and um, I used bright pink and bright green. I mixed the two together. I did two strands with a size eye crochet hook. See, I don't. Hopefully, you can see the colors. I never liked doing beanies because of the ugly seam, but. Um, my friend Margaret told me about Repeat Crafter Me, and I looked up Sarah Zimmerman, and she has a nice technique for hiding seams. So I'm trying to find the seam right now. So the seam is hidden. I'm just feeling for my little my little knot. I think it's right here. So you can see the seam is hidden on the hat. And I hope to put uh, an, a pink pom pom on the top. This is probably one of my favorite patterns. And it is a cute cupcake beanie. This pattern is by Rachel Choi, and she has it in five sizes. And it's crocheted in a spiral. And so there's no seam. Now, the trained eye might find the seam in the cake part, but if you're a non crocheter, you probably won't find the seam. It's just so well hidden in this uh, cute cupcake pattern. 
and you can see that the cherry at the top is also crocheted. This is very, very cute, and I will put the link to this pattern. It is a purchased pattern, but it's well worth it. This is another work in progress, and this pattern is called Horse and Around Scarf, and it's by Joanne Grim Thompson. And so hopefully you can see the head. Maybe I'll move it out the other way. So this is the head. This part is the muzzle. And then just look how look how long it is. It keeps going and going and going, and then. If you turn it around, we have the feet. And I'll lift it up a little bit. And then I will be adding the embellishments. There's going to be the eyes, the ears, the facial accents, the nostrils. Um, there's going to be a mane, and then there's going to be a tail. And I have. Let's see. I have everything here in this bag, so once I have everything complete, uh, I will assemble the scarf. And there's one more project in progress. This will be a minion hat, Despicable Me. So at least you have some ideas what I've been doing lately and I'm in my classroom so you can see where I teach. I happen to be in between classes today so I use all of the um, crochet projects to help fundraise for the music program. My next uh, fundraising project is to raise a little over four thousand dollars to replace five octaves of hand chimes. So when I have more projects, I will share the projects with you. Thanks for watching.